All right, let's just get right to what you're going to be talking about after seeing Love and Other Drugs. Nudity. And a lot of it from A-listers Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway to the extent that it nearly overwhelms the melodramatic and at times moving story. Note that I said nearly overwhelms because for the most part director Edward Zwick's movie holds up as a funny and compassionate drama. Gyllenhaal plays Jamie, a womanizing pharmaceutical sales rep who, because the story takes place in the late 90s, is about to hit it big selling Viagra. He enjoys the conquest of one night stands but has never been in love, at least until he meets Hathaway's Maggie, a free spirited artist who calls him out on his game and finds a genuine connection with him. It's fun when they first get together and things are happy and light, but soon the movie abruptly goes from comedy to drama and becomes a bit heavy handed. Thankfully Maggie is sympathetic beyond her bitchiness and the reasons for their relationship struggles go well beyond what we typically expect. Then there's the excessive nudity, which is a bold decision for each actor in the internet age. Both performances are strong on their own and Hathaway even has an outside shot at an Oscar nomination, but my understanding of why the nude scenes are included is this. The nudity, at least symbolically or metaphorically speaking, suggests vulnerability and each of them willingly lets their guard down for the other and lets the other person in. And, and, let's face it, they're two attractive stars who know a little skin could go a long way at the box office. You run with whatever story you agree with more. Even though the beginning of Love and Other Drugs is better and more interesting than the ending, it's still good enough overall to be worth your $10. For Hudak on Hollywood.com, I'm Dan Hudak.